Hey everybody, this is Kenny Cash from Factory Underground Tech, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of this sound. All right, so one of the more frustrating things we might come across as engineers is amp noises or just noisy signal in general that might come from an untreated room. And today we could talk about a great plugin that we can use to cure this problem. Now we can always use a gate that will get rid of the noise at the beginning or the end of a signal, but it's still going to be there and it can even be exasperated by adding compression or EQ to your signal when you're trying to get the right tone for your mix. So let's talk about the plugin that I prefer to use, which is Isotope RX. Now forgive me, I'm an RX8 and there are new versions of this out, but this one still works. And the new versions, if you're going to pick up this plugin, I'm sure will do the exact same thing, if not better. Now RX we can use in standalone mode and we can do a lot of fine tuning, but I'm gonna show you how to use it in your DAW. In this case, I'm gonna demonstrate spectral denoise. I should mention also that Isotope does have a guitar denoise plugin, which can be great to get rid of pick sounds or squeaking sounds as well as amp noise. Um, in this case, I'm just demonstrating spectral denoise because I feel like it's a little bit more versatile if you have to get rid of room noise in overheads or things of that nature. So let's really quickly listen to the signal before we use the denoise plugin. As an engineer, it's always a good idea to get a little bit of pre-roll and some room tone at the end of your tracking session just to make sure you have some space to do this process. And let me show you how easy it is to get rid of this noise. Because I have pre-roll, I'm going to play the track and I'm going to have RX learn the noise. Now let's listen to it. So before, and after. So that's pretty amazing, and I didn't even get into any of the fine tuning of the plugin. Now in this example, you might still be hearing a little bit of the noise while the guitar is playing, but we can make some adjustments to try and clean that up even a little bit further. If that's something that you'd be interested in learning, please leave some comments below and we'll make some follow-up videos to this quick tip.